COVID-19 is changing the world we are living in today, but we must not forget other pressing issues facing our planet. Though economies have slowed, the heating of our planet has not. In the Pacific, climate change hasn't gone away, and the serious health risks climate change poses persist. In the Solomon Islands, malnutrition due to food insecurity caused by rising sea levels is an issue close to volunteer dietitian Fiorenzo Tonkin's heart. Climate change is affecting the local produce. If you're here during cyclone season, you'll know what I mean. Once there's a flood, produce will be low, the supply will be low, and then prices will go up as well. My sisters are all them. I talk with patients, and then I tell them this is what you should eat. And then one of the things they always tell us is that you're telling us this, but from the kitchen, what you're bringing to us, it's not what you said we're supposed to eat. Whatever is available here, that's what we give them. Yeah, so this is the market. You get this cabbage for like $10, $5. But you can get um, something from the shop, like noodles, for just $2.50. And you can feed like a lot of people with that. So that explains a lot why people tend to go for cheaper products that are sold in the shops that aren't even healthy. I believe that if every patient who have NCDs right now, they had been eating the right type of diet, I don't think they would be here in the hospital. I want the bosses up there, all of them, government policy makers to try and think of something that could help us out here. Once they do something, we can also do something here as well. Yeah. In Kiribati, waterborne diseases as a result of extreme weather events mean that environmental health officers like Teresa Teite have to closely monitor the quality of water sources, checking for contaminants like E. coli and coliform. The effects of climate change that I know, lack of fresh water or clean water. I know that the water is the most serious thing because most of the outbreaks of Paris is related with the water. Most of the time when the flooding comes, there's an outbreak of cares in the year. So now they never use the well water for drinking. It's just only used the, uh, the water from the rain. If there's no rain, then there's no rain, then we need no to. Yeah. And from the rainwater, total number of uh, E. coli, 13.4. Water is really our desperate need, and water in our village here, it's not safe. We need to be careful, especially with the, the, the children, the small ones. I am so worried. If they use polluted water, they have more chance to get uh, disease. I request the government of other countries if they can limit their production. I think it's, a, it's another way to minimize the the impacts of climate change. In the Marshall Islands, we have seen an increased transmission of vector-borne diseases in areas of flooding as a result of more breeding sites for mosquitoes and closer proximity of animals and humans due to less and less land. Environmental Health Officer Bobson Solomon is trying to control the expanding mosquito populations. Our planet is changing. I can see it with my own eyes. Growing up in the Marshall Island, I never seen water rising up to this, you know, in the normal days. It's just weird, you know, it's scary. It's scary for the future of the, our young generation. Maybe there will be, there will be no Marshall Island. Who knows where they're gonna go if they don't have no homes. I'll be sad. We spray all over the island when we have outbreak. We go to the school, churches, all over the island. We had chicken cunha. That wasn't as bad as the thing. We're doing a mosquito control. When we go out there, we collect all the mosquito, bring them back to the hospital. We ID the mosquito, check what kind of species are they, make sure uh, these mosquitoes don't carry the virus, like uh, Zika virus, dengue fever. Health is affected by climate change in multiple ways. For example, the increased number of this extreme weather really definitely affect people's health. They're injured and sometimes even die. We've been observing those kind of impact, particularly in the Pacific Island countries. And WHO take it very, very seriously. 
Witnessing these health impacts increase in severity, many Pacific Islanders are already taking solution-focused action. In the Cook Islands, people like Celine Dyer are reconnecting young people to the foods of their ancestors, healthy, indigenous foods found and cultivated in the mountain forests, improving diets and strengthening the community's capacity to withstand climate shocks. So I'm going to get you and Kristen to go and plant some taro. This is something good to learn. It's good for people that want to reconnect with their roots. Because there's like a big disconnect from like the generations <laughs> before us and then my generation. I was never taught this kind of stuff growing up, although I grew up here. We were just so reliant on imported goods going to the supermarket for food. Health is affected by climate change by many different ways. The truth is that they're often overlooked. We have to advocate for this uh, um, mitigation. If those actions addressing the climate change organize in the right way, there will be a significant benefit also to the health. And I really wanted uh, all the leaders around the world to take this issue very seriously. And I hope there will be a collaborations between different sectors, then we can address this issue. There is no time to delay for the world and for the Western Pacific region. Tackling the health impacts of climate change and environmental threats is everyone's business. No one sector can do this alone. All sectors can make decisions and take action to protect health, even if this isn't their primary intention. These are called health co-benefits, and they are critical for putting the world on a sustainable path. We need to accelerate efforts to protect nature, invest in water and sanitation, promote healthy food systems, transition to renewable energy, and build livable cities. We must build back greener.